All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Coral Vaults live stream. We're finally doing it. We're finally jumping in. Uh, this has been in the making for a few months now. Uh, it's it's definitely been uh, a headache trying to learn. Oh, hold on. We already got our first delay here. I got to turn off the sound on my computer. Okay, here we go. All right. So where was I? We're, like I said, this is a live stream. So no, no editing. It's raw. There's no script. We're just jumping in. We're going to talk about it and go over all kinds of things. And this is the launch of the YouTube channel that's going to bring so much information uh, to our customers, to our friends, to hopefully the industry. I mean, right now, I, I don't even know how big Coral Vault is or how many people know, but we just we're trying to make our footprint in the industry. So what is this channel gonna bring? This channel is gonna bring uh, everything from everyday questions that people come into the shop and ask us, so that way we can just send people links to give them more information on teaching them how to reef. Uh, we want everybody to learn how to reef. Uh, it's really important because the better you are at taking care of your aquarium, then uh, the more coral we can sell you and it will live, it won't die. So we're gonna teach you how to take care of your water. We are going to teach you everything from equipment, from how to clean your glass, how to clean your sand, how to take care of your fish, how to quarantine your fish, how to dip your coral, uh, placement of coral, about all the different types of corals. Um, we're gonna teach you how we do it. If you're looking for, like I said, if you're looking for a scientific scripted channel with big words and proper grammar, this channel isn't for you because I am anything from that. I am the simplest uh, down easy person there is. And I think there should be an easy, simple way to do anything. It's just all about planning and staying on the right path. So we're gonna teach you the Coral Vault path, how we do it here at the Coral Vault. We're not gonna change how we present things to you. We're gonna present to them exactly how we do it, what we dose, what we test, uh, maintenance, what we do in our systems, we're gonna show you for your systems. We're also gonna show you the difference between how to take care of your 150 gallon system versus a 1500 gallon farm. We're gonna teach you all that in this channel. Um, we're gonna talk about, again, the equipment, uh, if you're looking to get into the hobby versus already in the hobby. We're gonna show you the paths and what equipment to use. Uh, water parameters, that is gonna be the biggest thing of this live channel is water parameters. Because your coral, if you have it and it's alive, it didn't die because it was a, was a bad coral. It died because the, there's something in your water that that coral didn't like. We're gonna teach you how to fix that. Uh, it's quite simple. It, we're going we're gonna to start from alkalinity and go down to phosphate. It's going to be awesome, and you're going to be like, why didn't I start doing this years ago? Uh, I mean, that's what I asked myself. I, let me tell you a story. So I used to go and buy corals, and I don't know if any of you guys ever do this, but you go out. Oh, hang on. When you go out and you, um, you buy a $500 coral, right? And you take it home and you wonder, is that coral gonna live? You throw it in your tank and the coral doesn't, doesn't live. And you wonder, why did that $500 coral not live? And you text your friend and you say, hey, my $500 coral didn't live and I don't know why. My water parameter is perfect. Did you really test your water? Or did you just go off of what the fish store said or what a certain test kit said? Well, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna make it so you can keep whatever coral you buy from a $5 coral to a $500 coral alive. Building the business. We're gonna show you how we've built the business. We're gonna, if you're thinking of becoming a seller, we are going to show you, I'm trying to think of all the correct ways. If you're gonna build a business, we're gonna show you from our struggles to our strengths, of how to do it. The Coral Vault way. Like I said before, we're gonna teach you about how we do things here at the Coral Vault, from maintenance, to selling, to taking care of aquacultured corals, um, to preserving the ocean. And one thing that we do here is we don't import coral. 
Um, I mean, we import, but very rarely. Very small batches, but almost 90% of everything that we sell is aquacultured here. So we have, this is a 1500 gallon farm. We have another 1500 gallon farm. We have a 300 gallon farm. We have another 150 SPS gallon farm. And then we have quarantine tanks. And then we have sale tanks. And uh, another YouTube channel, a video, we're gonna go through and we are going to show you uh, all the different tanks and the different corals here in the store. If you guys aren't on them, we got the dollar auctions on our Coral Vault website. Please check them out. Um, that is currently how we've been doing the sales, local stores, live sales, and then the auctions. I guess I should ask here is, uh, how's everyone doing tonight? You guys uh, comment below. Please tell me what you want to see in live videos. Let me know what my next live video should be on. I can already tell you the next one is going to be on water parameters. We're gonna break out the test kits. We're gonna show you what you should test, why you should test it. That will be the next video. And then the second video after that, we're gonna show you what to do when your test kits say certain numbers, what you would dose, when you would water change. We're gonna tell you, teach you about what to dose, what chemicals to use, what salts to use on water changes. We're gonna get it into RODI units and show you what unit is good for what. Um, gosh, there's so much I have written down on this piece of paper. Like I said no scripts, but I had to do a little cheat sheet or I just start to ramble. So little history about the Coral Vault. If you know what the Coral Vault is or if, you, if this is your first time watching the video, the Coral Vault started in the peak of 2020 during COVID. Uh, we did pretty decent. We had a 1,200, 11, 1,200 square foot facility that we started. And it was roughly, I used to tell people it was like 5,000 gallons, but we really only had like, I don't know, 1,000 or 2,000 gallons in the facility. And it did really well. It was successful, but it wasn't my dream facility. It, it, it was very hard to keep the tank stable and the coral stable because of the environment around. Um, one thing that I'll teach in the YouTube video was, is fail safes in that shop. There was, there was way too many variants where something could have happened and we could have lost everything. So we moved into the next shop. Um, this shop is our new one. It's 3000 square feet. It has, uh, I don't know, uh, I'll say 10,000 gallons of water in it. Uh, I don't, it's like, uh, five, 6,000, something like that, like that. But it is our dream facility. Uh, well, I guess dreams, I guess when you go into here, your dreams get bigger. So the next facility is Walmart, but, but uh, will we ever get there? Probably not. So I, we're pretty comfortable with this new shop. And we moved into this shop and things have been going great. Everything's growing. We did everything. We started completely over with all brand new corals. Um, we all brand new systems, brand new rock. All of our farms are 100% clean. There's no pest in them. We go through a three-stage quarantine. Uh, we have a fish quarantine area. Then we have a retail fish area. So, but we're gonna show you all this because this translate is how we run stuff in the business. It's almost how you wanna run things with your home aquarium. So we're gonna show you a lot of stuff on the business. And then I'm gonna take you to my house and show you my home aquarium that I'm starting up and we're gonna go through how I'm starting up my aquarium. So, hey guys, I'm so glad that all of you joined this live stream. I know this was a short one, it wasn't very long. It was not planned. I just showed up at the shop, threw the stuff on the table and I said, we're going live, we gotta start this channel. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel. The next one, I promise you, it's gonna be a better video with much more information. I just wanted to get you guys all prepared. We got so much to come. And I can't wait to share my knowledge with all you guys. I just, I wanna give back to the hobby. I want you guys all to be successful. I really appreciate, my family appreciates all of you being customers and supporting us. Um, everyone that comes in on the weekends and hangs out with us, as you know, we have free beer for the locals. So um, I, we appreciate all the company and everything you all do for us. So please, if you need anything, reach out. Uh, you all know where to find my cell phone number. If you need help with water testing, water parameters, you know, I, we're always here to help. We want you all to be successful. So uh, look forward to the next YouTube channel. It is coming 
this weekend. Next, next episode this weekend, we will start water parameter testing. All right, guys, have a great night. I look forward to the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, click to the YouTube channel,